yeah, the play was the play was crazy. It was one of those situations, you know, before the steal or anything even happened, the momentum that was going towards the game. We had a great start. Uh, I felt like we kind of had Argentina on their heels, and you know, one possession comes. Uh, I just remember their point guard getting to the basket, trying to drop a pass to the big man for a finish, and next thing you know, we get a steal and we're in transition. Jason, being the, the great guard that he is, he's pushing the break. And it was one of those situations where it felt like everything that you practice, I think anybody who's played basketball has run a, a full court, you know, layup drill, three on two, two on one, and a point guard has to make a decision on who to pass to. And it felt like that exact situation in that instance. Jason's pushing the break, um, and I'm just running as hard as I can to try to get in position to score. So right when he passed me the ball, I knew it was one of those things where I was in a spot to just catch it and finish. And to be honest, I didn't know Scola was in front of me. Uh, I saw somebody, I didn't know who it was, but I just knew at that moment, you know, Jason trusted me with the ball to, to finish the play. So when I went up, it, it was definitely a plan to dunk it. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't thinking of anything else. I was just going up and riding the momentum of the game, trying to go up and, and finish as hard as I could. And by the time I, I landed and the dunk was finished, I saw who was in front of me. And I think it's pretty much seen in the videos how I expressed myself, uh, let out a, a nice little woo. I think that's what it was, maybe not exact, but let one of those out, turned around and could feel the crowd, um, could feel just the, the energy in the gym changing. It was one of those moments that I'll never forget. Uh, and I don't think you know anybody who's, who tuned in or who was there in the arena will forget either.